a little overwhelming. Got a little sweater. This place smells like pancakes. Mini cobblers, such peach. This is so fun. Good morning, Krusty Crew. What are we up to today? We're going to Wally World. I think they have a deal on a dragon. Sources indicate. Yes, our sources say that there is a deal on a dragon Many from Ninjago. Many spies died to bring us this information. No. <laughs> Apparently on the Walmart app, they have the Jungle Dragon from Ninjago for $25. So I'm gonna go try to find it. It says it's in stock, so I'm hopeful. I'm excited to pick up some of these Ninjago dragons because I think they'd, they'd go well with the elves' dragons and then they could go on little cute dates. The dragon sets to Ninjago is like mech sets to Lego Marvel. Yeah, there's way too many Marvel mechs. But I guess if they sell well, you can't complain. Spider mech, spider mech, does whatever a spider mech mechs. Hey, hey, if we were to get a, a giant robot suit and put like a big Texas flag on it, can we call it Tex mech? Tex mech? <laughs> Sure. Yeah, we can do that. Dude, she's just not into you. Here we go. Oh, isn't that little cactus cute, Ross? Oh, look at it. It's just like chilling. Just chilling. All right, let's go find this dragon. Ooh, look at that. Was 80, now it's 60. In the app, it says that the jungle dragon is 25, but here it's saying that it's about 60. So we're gonna go try to scan it. We just scanned it on the Walmart app and it's coming in at 60 as well. So I don't know what's going on with that, but I don't really want it for 60. I feel like that's not discount enough. Huh, this product is currently out of stock. No, it's not. Hey, there's three, I'm looking at it. Cool, so we just got some help and this one is indeed $25, so that is good. I thought it was gonna be 60 and I wasn't really ready to spend 60 today. And then we found this Ninjago mech. Ross has had his eye on this for a while. Are you excited about this one? What yeah. do you wanna do with it? Uh, rig it to look like an Overwatch robot. So this is originally 60 down to 48. So that's pretty good too. So I think we're gonna snag both of these. Jeez. I'm gonna grab oh, that. Oh yeah, I've never seen that on the shelves before. It's pretty cool. Vader meditation chamber. It's where he goes and comes up with his dad jokes. I'm looking for other deals before we go. I don't know if they got an alligator. Crikey, mine. Ooh, what's this one? Andrea's house from 70 to 32. Do they have that in stock? That'd be good just for pieces. I don't see it. Ooh, they finally stocked Mickey and Friends. I have not seen that anywhere yet. That's pretty cool. I'm looking for the mermaid. Do you see the mermaid anywhere? For five bucks? I doubt it. Vidayo unicorn. Yeah, they don't have it. Look at this now. The Hall of Armor from Lego Marvel's $12 down from 48. Do they have that? I would lose my mind if we could find it for 12 bucks today. That'd be crazy. I don't see it though. All right, well, Ross went to go price check some stuff. So I have these two here. I'm gonna go try to figure out where he went. Apparently he ended up over in the garden area. I don't know how he got there, but I'm gonna go find him. There you are. Hey, Ross. So I asked the guy about Avengers Tower and he said it was still full price. Bummer. Bummer, but we got this cool mech and a dragon and some like car wash supplies yeah. too. Yay. Actually, never mind. We just put the mech back. It was 48 down from 60, which isn't that great of a deal. Sweet. Thank you for shopping at Walmart. Hey Ross. What's up, what's up? Which of the Ninjago dragons are you most excited about? I like the red one. The fire dragon? No, the other red one. Which red one? I don't know. How many dragons are there? I don't know. So now we're heading way up north to Leander to see this farmer's market. We have not been there before, but some people told us it was really fun. They have a bunch of coffee shops and just like cute farmer's market type country stuff. I don't know, I'm looking forward to it. Can we buy a farmer there? You know, I, I don't think you can. What do you mean you can't, you can't buy a farmer at the farmer's market? Don't think so. That's lame. Yeah. But side note, at least my hair is finally dry. Look at that car. Better watch out. He's on his way to steal your girl. Little air streams. Ooh, I want that. Yeah, that looks good. So we're just kind of chilling now. This place is really cute though. Yeah, it's really cute. There's a lot of just like baked goods and produce as one would expect at a farmer's market, but sometimes there's not that much produce. There's usually just soap and honey. So this is actually kind of nice. 
So yeah, Ross has his coffee and I've got myself some orange juice. So we found this Southern Bistro nearby and they have alligator bites, which is different. You don't well, really- you bite the alligator, the alligator doesn't bite you. I don't think that's what that means. But also fried catfish. And even though it's 10 a.m., fried catfish sounds really good. Almost 11. Not if you round down. <laughs> so we just left the farmer's market and I got a peach cobbler in here, which looks delicious. Mini cobblers, such peach. They didn't have too many food choices there, so now we're here. Wait, Happy Mother's Day, wasn't that like in May? This place smells like pancakes. The Bell Game Guatemala. Belgian waffle? Yeah. What are you doing? Put a little hot sauce in it. Yum. Yum. Where are we going now, Ross? Bricks and Minifix. I think they changed location since we've been there last, so I'm pretty interested to see what it's like. Bricks and Minifix. Bricks and Bricks and Minifix. My name is Brick. Yeah. My name is Minifix. Yeah. That's where they normally are. There's usually like a sign right there. They have now moved, and this is the first time we get to see a new location. Ooh. I am so excited. Bricks and Minifigs. Bricks and Minifigs. Mini Apparently, it's going to be way bigger inside. I'm excited. I'm excited. I like really want this at my house. This is so fun. Hello, welcome. Hello. Howdy, howdy. Yeah, this place is wild. Look at this one, the clay face. Very cool. Oh, should I should have that one. You have this one? Yeah, I have this one too. Is that a scarecrow? Yeah, Aww. I have it's this one, Scooby but character. I got it because it has a blue beetle. It's not oh, Scooby character. It's a Scooby <laughs> character. <laughs> Check this out. So much Bionicle on the shelves. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what any of these are. I was not into Bionicle, but they look pretty cool. Ooh, look at these. What do you see, Ross? Some of these good old CMS. Any that you want? Oh, funny. <laughs> I love the display here with like the glass right up at the front. Mm -hmm. And then there's so much wall space. This is so cool. Oh, oh really? Yeah. I've heard it's the best one. Uh, I can believe it. Oh, yeah, that looks amazing. No way. So we just went to Walmart this morning to find a jungle dragon for 25 and here it is used for 25 Very cool. Ooh, that white dragon's cool too. Ooh, Ross. Isn't this one cool? Uh, Ooh, they have some flower bouquets and a bonsai tree down here too. Check this out. They have the, uh, oh, the wow. Lego House dinosaurs. That's really cool. And it's the, uh, if you remember on uh, LegoCon 2021, this one's supposed to be made out of deep blow. That one's standard Lego and that one's supposed to be like Technic Lego. Ultron. Whoa. The tree in Lego House. There's a few plates over here. Do we need anything? Sure, we do. Yeah, see, so yeah, I figure we get this color for some of the forests. Yeah, that would be good. Or we can get pink for a pink forest. Yeah. Doesn't this look so cool? I really want it. That'd be so beautiful. I don't know what we would do with it though. And over here we got an Indominus Rex. They actually have two of this set, which is pretty impressive. Looks very cool. I think they're re-releasing it soon. Are they really? Yeah, but it's not the right shade. Getting some new balls for Ladybird. Are they are they good enough, Ross? Oh, they're too small. That's the size of a tennis ball. Want to get bigger ones? They have these. Going to Costco. So it's Sunday morning and I've seen on Reddit and Instagram that at Costco they have the advent calendars for a pretty good discount as well as a bunch of other sets. So we're here at Costco. We also need tortillas. Aw, they're so cute. Ross, can we get one? Okay. Also, here's this giant beanbag chair. Jumbo. Jumbo size. Okay, y'all, I am way too excited right now. They have everything on the shelves. Do y'all see this? New advent calendars for Marvel, Star Wars, this is old news. But then they also have the Friends Hotel in the castle, down from I believe 100 to 75. That's insane. Oh my gosh. Also, check this out. Oh, these are so cute. Okay, so this one, the Avengers Endgame Final Battle. 
but then also the surfer beachfront. This is such a cute set. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is insane. Okay, I was not prepared for this at all. They have so much Lego and they just restocked because I was here earlier this week, like three days ago. This is crazy. I'm pretty stoked. It's a little overwhelming. Oh wow, they also have the new Harry Potter advent calendar for 30 as well. I believe it retails for 40. I like that Thanos is stealing the, the packages. Aw. Presents. I love that. Oh look, it's an infinity gauntlet. Oh Christmas no way. Tree. That is that is good. That's actually really clever. He's got a little sweater. He's got a little Spider-Man jacket. These are so cute. Yeah, he's a mustache. Yeah. And then the Star Wars one. Look how cute this is though, for real. Like baby Yoda and his little Star Wars Christmas sweater. It's so cute. I feel like it'd be good for your Disney, downtown Disney kind of spot. Right, I feel like it would be. I would almost want to get a few and then kind of combine them. Kind of get two, right? Yeah. I'd rather get two of that than the hotel. You know, I'm just trying to see what you mean. The hotel's nice, but it's all just these large yeah. pieces. Yeah, it's just really simple. Yeah. I'd rather get multiple of the other one and like build it up. I think that would be cool. Bye, hotel. Waterloo. Oh, yes. Waterloo and Lego. Dude, I cannot get over how crazy <laughs> this is. I cannot wait to open these. I just want to look at how much we saved. Like right? Yeah, we probably saved at least 100 bucks. So we actually just came back to the Lego area because we want to get a second of these castles. The pieces in it would be perfect for Disney, especially all the dark gray pieces. We could use them for roads or paths or even just building our own walls there. Plus, they have this really cool alternate build, but I think that would be really cool for Rapunzel's tower. I'd definitely have to make some modifications to it, but I think that would turn out really neat. I want to get this one, but I hear they're going to rename it soon from Boba Fett's costume to Boba Fett's star costume. That was bad, Ross. That was really bad. Huh? Yeah, that's not going in the vlog. <laughs> they do have a bunch of cool costumes. Do you think I would fit in this? Yeah. You were a firefighter? Everyone else I knew was some character from Mortal Kombat. They have a lot of really cute costumes. Oh, Ross, they have Pikachu. What I? They have Pikachu. Uh -huh. Oh, hey, what's going on, bud? Hey! Yeah, we were thinking about it, but we're just like, hey, you know, we're gonna get way more bang for our buck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the castle's cool. And there's so many, like, two and three set builds exactly. of this already. Right. One of our friends from the lug showed up, so that was pretty cool. Um, he actually is so helpful in finding early stuff. Just the Legos. Just Legos. <laughs> This got expensive very quickly. 99% of it was the Lego, but worth it. So you know how I always talk about buying CMFs in a parking lot? It's about to happen again. Our friend Syntax found all of the Marvel CMFs early and we're buying some of his duplicates off of him. So we need to go find him now. We're in the Costco parking lot. We got our Marvel CMFs from our friend Syntax behind us. So. Now we're going to head out. So he found them at Walgreens early, which until this wave of CMFs, I didn't even realize Walgreens carried them. But yeah, we've got a bunch in this bag here. Here's the packaging on them. Gosh, this looks cool. I can't wait to open them. Are you excited, Ross? Yeah, I'm really stoked. Yeah, these look cool, right? But they only got six at each Walgreens. Oh, oh, that's weird. So yeah, that that's... makes it a huge pain. Wow. Ooh, okay guys, okay, so Syntax is the actual best and he already labeled them. So there's a 12 on there. There's a five on this one. So he's actually gone through and numbered them. This is amazing. Thank you so much. If you're watching this, you are the best. So we just finished the live stream of the CMFs and the new advent calendar over here. It was actually so much fun opening this. Sometimes with the advent calendars, it's a little bit too much of like the little tiny builds and they kind of bore me. Yes, that is churro. There we go. So yeah, here we have some stuff. This is like a combination of CMFs and stuff from the advent calendar. Falcon is probably my favorite, but then we have Gamora. She's looking amazing. I put Vision down there because when I stand him up, he's kind of like facing down, so you can't really see him. Wait, why is he wearing... Did you do that, Ross? Why is he wearing that? I didn't want to lose the child's hair piece. So you put it on Vision? <laughs> I was like, wait, why is his head... <laughs> What are you doing? Ooh, but there's zombie Captain America and then Christmas Iron Man back here. Gosh, I love these. Which one's your favorite, Ross? Uh, Sam Wilson, Captain America. So after the stream today, I was hungry, Ross was hungry. So now we're going to Pluckers. So I don't know if y'all remember me talking about Ross really wanting a new mower. I didn't want a new mower. I just couldn't save my old mower. He got a new mower. That mower's been in my family for 15 years. Aw, are you sad? I am a little sad. I couldn't save it. Oh. I think it's just too old. Yeah. I think your new one will be so much better, though. 
I hope so. It looks like a spaceship. Yeah, it does look like a spaceship. I call this one Ross's Boba Fett Starship. <laughs> We always have Waterloo just in case. Two cases. I'm locked out. Ross is over there putting away the cart. How do you feel after getting a new mower? We'll see how it works. All right, so it's Wednesday now and I just finished filming a Q&A video and I actually asked my Instagram followers like, hey, if you have any questions for me, respond to this sticker in my story. I had never done that before, but I got so many responses. So thank you everybody who responded to that or saw it. I could not get to everybody's question, but I did try my best, but I always like filming it down here. I don't know why. It just feels a lot more cozy to me. And so earlier today, I definitely wasted like an hour of time just checking out the Lego City. I am so happy with how this is looking. Oh my gosh, and like having this table up here, I just feel like that looks so much better. I don't know, I am just really enjoying this. The other night, Ross and I were kind of playing with setting up a Mario area. Obviously there's like still a mess <laughs> there from that, but we're gonna try to do something really fun with scenery in this area where like the train will go by and you can just see different worlds like Mario, SpongeBob, maybe like a little bit of Scooby, <laughs> we'll see. Ladybird over here is mad because she couldn't be in the Q&A video. So the rest of this week's probably gonna be very busy for me. I got a few packages in the mail from Lego, so I need to film some reviews for that and just open those up, get building. And I also just really wanna clean up the rest of this Lego room here because the display behind me, I'm very happy with it. However, the rest of the room just kinda looks like a mess. So I'm gonna be working on that a bit this week. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog. I have so much fun making these. It's kind of fun giving you a little bit more of a behind the scenes look into what goes on in our lives besides just like Lego shopping, a little bit of like farmer's market and Home Depot and just like normal things that we do all the time that maybe isn't as relevant as Lego, but still so much fun to do with Ross. So anyways, if you did enjoy this, make sure to leave a like and do subscribe down below. I appreciate y'all. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.